Hey, this is Ed with Run Diffusion. This is a quick video just to show you how to use Stable Diffusion Video, the new latest generative AI model from Stability. It's pretty incredible. Um, so to start off with, I have booted uh, a server here in um, beta mode. So change the software to beta. That's our latest release track and uh, will enable you to get the latest features. These things are tested before they're pushed into the current release. So in the beta track, we have updated Comfy to use these nodes. Um, there's a link in our announcements section which shows this uh, URL provided by Comfy UI, which has some example workflows. So to start off with, we have image to video. I will drag and drop onto the canvas like so. Now we can see that the nodes have popped up. First thing you have to do when loading any workflow into Comfy is to verify that the model paths are correct. So this is the checkpoint loader. I'm just going to type SVD to see the SVD model and I click it and now it has the correct path. If you run this without that, you'll see a red border appear around the model and it won't progress. Next up, we need to load an image. So we'll go here. I've particularly liked these um, little plastic sort of model images. They worked really well. We have a few settings. Um, the CFG is similar to the image. I haven't played around with that too much, but you'll see how it works. Width and height, I'm going to change this to 768 by 768. 1024 by 576 is what the model was trained on, so it's probably best. Video frames, um, we'll just do a short video of 14. FPS, the higher this is, the smoother the action is. So let's just try 10 FPS. Um, the motion bucket ID determines how much movement will be uh, taking place. So 127 is quite a bit of movement. Let's do 64 for a little bit slower of an image. The rest of the stuff I will just leave the same. Um, this is a uh, WebP creator, but you can also, if you prefer, load up the animate diff combine module, which enables you to do MP4 or GIF. And it uses the exact same way. To save. Hit Q and we'll see that the green box starts to work on the image. What I found is um, realistic photos tend to work best. We can just go through a few quick examples. Um, you know, here's an example of the video. Here's a realistic one that was generated with uh, the Run Diffusion model. You can see it's got some good movement to it. Here's another one zooming along. Again, a realistic photo doing quite well. Animation and illustration tends to work, but it has some interesting effects. So I'll just show you an example. Mm, yeah, interesting, but uh, still needs some work. And I think fine tuning will really fix that. Again, realism seems to work quite well. As you can see here. Here's an earlier example. Again, fantastic, just fidelity, movement, no need for rigging, just very quickly on a nice little loop. Excellent, excellent response to the uh, realism here. Now you can see that our video is generated and there's our little character moving. There is also a second workflow on that page to do text to image, which immediately then runs into a extended version of the SVD model to make a video. So try them out, let us know what you think.